I've been wanting how to find you. I've been looking for you. Should come with me to Wakanda. So what you trying to do? I've been meaning to remind you. Meaning to remind you. Hey y'all, it's your girl Vita Harley, a Akana preneur. Akana, a gift from God. I am on day two of the seven day challenge to my own wellness and also to share this valuable information with you so that you can become healthy as well. So what I'm doing today, I have started taking the elevation drops that is available through Akana. And uh, I'm taking these because I'm really, you know, concerned about my health. I want my health to be better. I was able to do a scan and found some areas of my body that I really wanted to improve. You know, as you start getting a little older, you want to make sure. So I am taking the drops. In a few minutes, I'm going to do my mixture. But the first couple things I want to do, I want to show you some things. This is a serum that they also offer. They offer some amazing products. I use this on my face. I used to have a lot of dryness and just unbalanced all over my face. Now people are telling me I have a glow and I'm really feeling better in my face. A lot of the puffiness that was around here is starting to go down and I'm really excited about that. My skin is doing great. This is also our power cream. This cream is so powerful. It's our pain cream. I have people I've put this on there. Rotator cuffs from surgery, knees, feet, everything. This is a very powerful. Uh, I have had people that had a toothache and, and put it on their jaw, took the toothache away. Very, very powerful. This is our power tincture. Yesterday, I was out and about and I had a young lady that I seen and she rode up to me and she seemed very distressed I said well what's going on she said I just found out that my grandson is on drugs I'm like oh my god you know that's terrible so I asked would you like some tinctures so she said yeah I'll try that so I put a few tinctures under her tongue y'all and in a few minutes she was just nice and calm that is so amazing so let me get back to the seven day challenge just want to get that out there you know some of the other amazing products that are available at Akana uh, this is the tincture I'm going to go in and, and take the do the tincture now I'm going to shake it up really good but I want to talk to you all about a few other things like uh, my experience yesterday for my first day how things went for me also some other things that I learned in the process you know of uh, going through this seven day challenge so what I'm going to do is I measured it and so instead of doing a tablespoon I'm going to do three drops which is like halfway up through which would probably make a tablespoon this is my apple juice that I'm putting in. You can use apple juice or orange juice, but according to my blood type, orange juice is very acidic for me because I am an AB positive. So apple juice is much better for me. So I'm gonna get, drink this up real quick. It's very refreshing and it really doesn't have any taste. Uh, also, just want to let you know a disclaimer, this is not for small children or pregnant women. And it's just something to help to make my health better. I'm really excited about it. And also, yesterday, I, I nutrition is so important, y'all. I ate some pizza, which wasn't good. Drunk some coffee, probably too much. Too much soda. You know, if you're going to try something new, you really want to make sure that you balance it out. You know, I talked about mindfulness yesterday. You know, how we think how we do things, you know, how we proceed. And a lot of things that we do, we have to change some things. We can't continue to do the same things that we did before and expect to get a different result or a better result. So I'm changing some things today. Got me some apples, got me some ginger. And this right here is very important. Water. This water, I have put, squeezed two lemons in this water because according to my scan also I have fatty liver so I'm going to be sipping on this water all day today and uh, try to filter my system so that I can get the you know fat out of my liver so that my body can filter the way it needs to filter uh, last night uh, also yesterday um, when I ate that pizza and all of that junk I ate some snacks too, y'all you know if when you get 
used to doing things, you think you can keep on doing those things and it's gonna get better, but it's not. So today I'm doing something different, but I ended up, I had to lay down for hours because I was so out of it from just putting all of that gunk and stuff in my system instead of some nice vegetables and fruits. So um, I was up late, I could not sleep. So this show came on, it was called The Impact of Trauma. And y'all know we go through a lot of trauma. We we have a lot of stress in our lives. But there's four different areas that they was talking about. And I'm like, okay, this makes a lot of sense. I know this is meant to be because everything doesn't always happen for a reason. So those four areas that they was talking about, one was your physical, one was your cognitive, one was your environmental, and one was your look on here, relations. The first one was that physical, that nutrition, eating stuff we shouldn't be eating, this clogging our system, clogging our arteries. So I'm working on the nutrition part today. The cognitive, I had said in my first day that um, I was having some challenges with my memory and different things like that. So I'm, I learned a few things about that. What is this, the HPA activation, the vagus nerve, how things work. We don't realize how fantastic this body is and how many functions that's going on that we don't even know about because we're so busy worrying about trying to figure out how to pay the bills, how to get our business going, how to get people motivated to want to be involved with our new venture that we're on. And it's a lot that we are going through physically. So get new, good nutrition. I'm My goal is to get this elevation going within myself. Now, I won't say side effects, but some of the things that happened yesterday was that the sides of my mouth, it kind of got a little tight. But immediately after I, I drank the uh, elevation drops with my apple juice, I felt like I had more oxygen. I was breathing better. It's like my whole chest and everything just started breathing better in which that is really my goal is to start breathing better because the better you breathe the more healthier it is your body cognitive working on that memory thing I'm really looking at other things so as these days go on I'm going to really try to get more deeper into the cognitive part because that's the part of us we need our brains to function properly we have a lot of dementia going on. We have a lot of stress going on. And when these things are compounded on our brain, they are not just affecting our brain. They're affecting our, our vertebrae. They're affecting everything about us. That is very, very important, our cognitive. Environmental. Y'all, I live in a place that is so noisy. I think the number one challenge that I have is my environment. Although I have a nice place that I'm at all through the day, all through the night, motorcycles, trucks, loud cars. And every time when I first moved here, it was hitting me in my gut. But now it's starting to hit me like all up in here. So I know that I have to make some changes, y'all. I got to move. So y'all always ask people to pray for me. I, I did do a 30 day challenge for manifesting so um within that 30 days i just did some medit meditating and stuff and i was meditating so that i could get me my dream car which is a 2023 chrysler pacifica fully loaded and white but guess what y'all instead of getting that i did manifest a 2008 chrysler 300 y'all fully loaded my husband was gracious enough to cash in his 401k because he wants his wife to look good while she's out here in the community doing the great things that she's doing. So I'm really grateful for that. But manifesting is another thing I'll be talking about as the challenge goes on, how we can manifest things just through our thinking, changing our mindset. And then we have relations, OMG. How important is that? Our relationships, not just the relationships that we have with ourselves, but the relationships we have with other people, our children, our parents, our friends. One of the challenges that I am facing right now is I have a soul tie. 
I don't know if y'all know what that means. A soul tie is a connection that you have to a person that you don't even understand why you have that connection to that person, but you think about them all the time. You can't stop thinking about them. They might not even be good for you, but you just keep thinking about them all the time, all the time. So y'all know what? I'm going to have a conversation with that person today because I need to break that soul tie because it is not good for me overall in general. Okay. And the most important thing for me right now is to get me together. Okay. So I can help you get you together. So mindset, so important clarity, being clear about what it is that you want to do. If you want to do, take this seven day challenge with me for the elevation drops. You got to be focused. You got to get clarity. You got to make a decision. It's not always easy to make a decision. First of all, you got to make the investment. This is, this is not cheap, but it's affordable. But how much, what is most important is that you taking care of your health. So what cost do you think that would be for you? So, and what are your hobbies and interests? What makes you happy? This weekend, I had an amazing weekend. It was Juneteenth, Father's Day, was out in the community, networking for my upcoming event. And I'm gonna add that on this flyer. I have some other information about trauma, the impact of trauma in our lives and some of the outcomes and symptoms that it is because sometimes we don't even realize that we are traumatized. So y'all, it's your girl Vita Harley. I am an Akanapreneur. Akana, a gift from God. I'm so excited to be doing this seven day challenge. I'm on day number two. I want you to join me and we will get our health together and we will make sure that we can help to make other people's lives healthier healthier as well no pain no stress a good working body an alkaline body a healthy body by putting the things in it that needs to be in it so until tomorrow i hope you all have a great day it's your girl vita hollywood akana your uh, your akana preneur I've been wondering how to find you. I've been looking for you. Shit come with me to Wakanda. So what you trying to do? I've been meaning to.